to see more rocks reporting from down under. Normally when there's an earthquake somewhere in the world uh, you don't really um, think too much about it. Um, you just accept it. But uh, in the current conditions and with the timing uh, was there something else behind Melbourne's 5.9 earthquake which struck at 9.15 in the morning. Um, the first thing that alerted me was this uh, piece uh, from the Australian media uh, that said uh, that uh, the, despite the earthquake you know they were st still going to be uh, stomping on the on the demonstrations. Now the strange thing about this is if you have a look is that the timestamp is uh, 7.15 in the morning. So you'd have to uh, accept that uh, news.com is printed somewhere out of uh, Adelaide or Perth and there's a time difference to explain it. But anyway, uh, here it is. received the following audio file which uh, seemed to uh, cast uh, uh, doubts as well. So have a listen to this. Hey guys, um, just a quick one. I'm going to tell you 100% categorical that that was not an earthquake. It was not an earthquake. It came from the sky. It was harp. 100% harp. Michelle will know what I'm talking about and Kylie. But um, it definitely was not from the from a, an earthquake because we were absolutely shaking here. My son nearly fell out of bed. Our lights were just shaking everywhere. And I went outside. I could see my house shaking, but the ground, there was no movement whatsoever in the ground. Okay, so just be ready because this is when I, I was talking about that fucking sonar, sonic boom thing that was going to fuck us. I reckon this is the start of it. They've seen the uprising of people and they're going to try and fucking start this bullshit from the sky all right i am a hundred percent categorical it was not an earthquake my horses didn't even get affected they usually run for the hills when they feel an earthquake i'm telling you it's from the sky um, so it was pointed out to me that there are signs of uh building damage just to one or two buildings it seems in strategic locations but uh the person who told me this said that they could find no other indications of an earthquake such as damage on the on the streets and then to, and then to top it off uh, this morning I decided to have a look because you would expect to see uh, aftershocks in fact uh, that's what they were warning but uh, as of now uh, it, when I make it it's 11 o'clock in Melbourne in the morning uh, there haven't been any more quakes, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see.